Alright, I wanted to do this problem a little different than the others in the sense that um, I'd like to do it all on the spreadsheet. So the best way to do it is to organize what you're going to do here on paper first and then do everything on the spreadsheet itself. So here's a little picture of a normal curve and remember the zero in the middle represents your average weight so that would be your 550. The um, 600 and 700, since they're bigger than 550, they're going to be over here someplace to the right. Let me do this in red. So someplace to the right, this line will represent uh, the 600. And a line further out is going to represent the 700. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the z-scores of these are. and I'm not really interested in that. And what we're looking for is the... Um, basically the area between those two lines, um, or the probability that the weight is going to be between 600 and 700 grams. All right, so to set this up on a spreadsheet, uh, remember these curves are always, you know, to the left. So we're going to get 600 to the left, and we're going to get 700 to the left. Um, and the only thing that we're interested in is the region in between. So we're looking for the area between those two things. So it's just going to be the big one minus the small one. So it'll be the 700 uh, normal distribution minus the 600 normal distribution. All right, so on a spreadsheet, what that's going to look like, let me bring it down a little bit so we can see our numbers. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, we're going to be typing in uh, equals. Now we can do this in um, three cells if you want. Um, I'll, I'll do that first and then I can throw it all into one cell, but I think three cells would be easier. So we're going to be doing normal distribution and we're going to be looking at, um, let's do the bigger one first. Well, that really doesn't matter. Uh, the 600 comma the mean, which is 550. Uh, the standard deviation, if I remember right, is 73. And we want to go to the left, so that one needs to be there. All right, so that would be his percentage. And then we could do the same thing for, uh, which one was this? Ooh, escape. This one was 600, so we need to do 700. So over here equals uh, norm dist 700, mean of 550, uh, standard deviation of 73, and to the left, the one. And we want to take these two answers and subtract them. So I'll use a third cell because we want to know the distance between the two of them. So we'll do the first one, the bigger number, minus the smaller number. So our answer is going to be in this cell. As a percent, that would be 22.67% of the time you will find a rat that weighs somewhere between 600 and 700 grams. So using a spreadsheet, you don't have to look up table values. You don't have to calculate out z-scores and all that fun stuff. And if you were really good about this, you could have taken the two formulas and put it into one cell. But sometimes breaking it into smaller pieces makes life easier. So that's how you use the spreadsheet to find um, the percentages.